hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be looking at how we can transfer files from a windows pc to a kali linux device and we'll be using scp or secure copy protocol which allows us to securely transfer files between a linux machine and a, a pc machine now the requirement is to have ssh on a kali linux because this is one of the requirements in order to securely transfer the files. Now I'm on my Kali Linux device on the terminal here. We'll check if we have SSH installed and also we'll check the status using systemctl status SSH. And as you can see here, it's installed but it's inactive. We'll need to start the services. So we'll use a systemctl again then we'll stay start SSH. I'll put in our password. Now let me repeat the systemctl status SSH command again. And this time we see that it's active and running. The next thing we need to check is the IP address. We'll need the IP address information together with the username and password for this on this machine or this Kali Linux machine. We'll be using that on the Windows PC device to do the SCP uh, file transfer. Now to check the address, I'll do IP address. And the address we have is 172.16.1.13. And before I do the transfer, I'll check a full, uh, I'll check a directory where I'm gonna put the files. So I'm gonna put this in the desktop folder. And this is what we have in, in here right now. Let's open the terminal on the Windows device. So this can be done from a Windows 11 or Windows 10 device. So I have the terminal open here. So I'm using PowerShell and I've already navigated to the folder that has the file that I'm going to transfer. So let me do DIR. So I have a folder here and I have a text document. And these are the two that I will transfer from this uh, Windows PC to the Kali Linux device. Now, before I do the, the transfer, I'm going to do a ping to the remote device, to the Kali Linux device, just to make sure I have, uh, it's reachable. So I'll ping the 172.16.1.13. And I can ping the device. Once I have that verified, I'm going to run the command. Now the command is scp and then we'll specify the file that we're looking to transfer over. So I'm going to start by transferring this test underscore document file. So I'll put a dot saying it's the current folder and backslash and then the, the name of the file. And then I'm going to put in the information for the re remote device, which is the Kali Linux machine. Uh, it's gonna, I'm going to put in the I'm going to put in the username, which is Kali. At and then I'm going to put the IP of the Kali Linux device. And then I'm going to put a colon. And then here I'm going to indicate the f directory or the folder on the remote device where I want to put these files or where I want to transfer the files. So, so let's go back to the Kali Linux machine. And here we can do pwd and it's under slash on slash Kali slash desktop. So that's the, the path. So I'll do for slash home Kali desktop. And then I'll press enter. And then it's going to ask you for the password for the user Kali. And we get 100%. The text underscore document has been transferred. We go to the Kali Linux machine. Do ls l here. And there it is. We have that document which wasn't here before. So we successfully transferred that file. That's clear here. And now we'll do the folder. So it's the same command when you're doing a transfer of a folder. 
we just make a slight modification here. So I'm going to do an up arrow to bring the command back. And all I'm doing here is I'm going to add, after SCP, I'm going to add dash r. Then here we just put the directory. So let's delete this and put a test folder. Test folder two. Uh, we can press enter, put in our password again. And this time we didn't get the same message as we got with the text document. Let's go to the Kali Linux machine, uh, desktop directory here, let's do ls-l. And there is the folder that we managed to transfer. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll try to transfer a document from the Kali Linux machine to the Windows machine. So let me create a document here. I'm going to create a text document. I'm going to call it inner. Let's call it test. I'll just inner dot, inner dot txt. So this is the document I'm going to transfer from the Kali Linux machine to the Windows machine. I'll go back to the PowerShell. And now they, the command is just going to be reversed. I'm going to have this in place of this, and then I'm going to move this here. So it's going to be SCP. Now we're coming from the Kali Linux device. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put the file that I'm going to transfer from the Kali Linux machine, inno.txt. And then I'm going to tra I'm transferring this to this folder. So I'm going to put a dot to represent this test folder that I'm in right now. That's where I want the file to be copied to. So now I'm just going to press enter. And I'm being prompted for the password again. And it's saying 100%. Now let's check this folder. And we have the file here. So the file was transferred from the Kali Linux machine to a Windows machine. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you can transfer or copy files from your Windows machine to a Kali Linux machine, and also from your Kali Linux machine to your Windows machine. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.